Hi everyone and welcome on another one of our virtual Yellowstone tours. Today I'm at Black Sand Basin and this ahead of us is Cliff Geyser which is almost always erupting. It generally starts off as a much larger geyser and with the passage of time the eruptions become smaller and smaller. This ahead of us is Iron Spring Creek and today I'm going to be showing you around Black Sand Basin. If you could take a look at a map of the park, which you'll see at our site, yellowstonetours.net forward slash map. That's yellowstonetours.net forward slash map. In that direction over there is the Upper Geyser Basin and Old Faithful. If we were to head off in that direction, oh wow, look at uh, Cliff Geyser going now. If we were to head off in that direction over there, we would get to the Midway Geyser Basin as well as the Lower Geyser Basin. I'd like to show you the spring, this uh, pool, even though it doesn't look like much, does it? and we're going to contrast it with some of the other hot springs and pools that we'll see at, at Biscuit Basin. If we have a look at this pool over here and also in the background there, uh, Emerald Pool, you'll see that these two look like they are very healthy hot springs. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. Ahead of us again is uh, the Iron Spring Creek and that flows into the Little Firehole River shortly before the Little Firehole flows into the Firehole River. The Firehole River, as you probably know by now from watching several of these virtual Yellowstone tours, is a thermal river. And here's a good example why it is. And also on that side over there, we can see the thermal water that is coming out of the hot springs and any other geysers that uh, is flowing into the river, in this case into the Iron Spring Creek. And uh, that is what makes it a thermal river. Heading in this direction over here, look at those beautiful bacteria mats, and I'll talk more about those on the course of this virtual Yellowstone tour. I'm sorry about this wind. This is the second time I'm trying to film this. Yesterday when I came here, the camera that I was using was picking up so much wind that I had to come back and try and shoot this, this video again. So I hope that you're able to at least hear a little better this time. I will uh, post the other video on YouTube as well, but just with, with captions as it was really impossible to hear what I was saying. How many people would say, well, that's a good thing. The less of you, the more of Yellowstone, the, the better. Ahead of us is Emerald Pool. And this area here that I've mentioned to you is called Black Sand Basin, was originally in the 1870s called the Emerald Group. What I mean by group is that They'll take the main thermal feature in an area, like Daisy Geyser, which is in that direction, or is it over there, in the upper Geyser Basin. They'll take the main thermal feature, and then uh, they'll call all the geysers around it part of that group. So this is Emerald Pool, and this area here used to be called the Emerald Group. We can see that as we get from the center of the pool to the edges, so the colors change. And the reason for that is that the very center of the pool is generally going to be the very hottest part of the hot spring. And where it's very, very hot, there's not very many organisms that are able to live there. There are some which are called thermophiles. And thermophile means heat-loving bacteria. 
but as you get closer to the edges and the temperatures drop off so more and more organisms are able to live there and as more and more living elements can be found in the runoffs or the bacteria mats from the thermal features so they become more more colorful and you'll see that when we get to Rainbow Pool and Sunset Lake which are in that direction over there you'll 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 certainly see evidence of that there was a feature here still here in the old day that in the old days was actually more popular than Old Faithful well, we can see cliffside geysers still going off there was a feature right over here it was called handkerchief pool and it looks like the authorities have removed uh, the sign to it and what used to happen is people would come here by their tens of thousands and this over here is a rainbow pool see how beautiful and colorful it is look how hot it is in the middle of that beautiful blue color and then as you get to the edges you can see pretty much like Grand Prismatic Spring and various other pools in the area you start getting all the warm colors and that also applies to Sunset Lake which we can see ahead of us once again just like Grand Prismatic you have the beautiful blue in the center and then you get the warmer colors as you get to the edges and more and more bacteria more and more thermophiles are able to to survive in the lake But uh, Handkerchief Pool used to be such a major attraction here in, in Yellowstone. As the name suggests, you would get people flocking here, much as they used to flock to Fishing Cone on West Thumb. And they would drop their handkerchiefs in the pool, and the natural connection of the currents would then whip the handkerchiefs around, and in time they would come back up, and they'd be clean. Needless to say, in the modern era, that is, is no longer allowed. Black Sand Basin is so called. Uh, let me just show you this, this little pool. Once again, another one that is so beautifully clear and clean. And then we see the colors increasing as uh, the water cools down and flows into that, into that creek. This is what we mean by bacteria mat. Black Sand Basin is so called because of the obsidian here. For those of you who've seen our um, videos of the Chile Yellowstone tours, on the area between Nam Norris and Mammoth Hot Springs, you'll know that we go past Obsidian Cliff. Now, Obsidian Cliff is pretty much blocked off. You're not allowed to get anywhere close to the cliff at the moment. Obsidian is a very hard uh, rock. It occurs naturally when lava that has come up from underground basically super cools. It cools off too quickly. It's really, really hard and people would go into the obsidian cliff area and uh, chip off bits of obsidian and use it. Obsidian was used by the ancient Native American tribes who were and still are in this area 
for projectiles, for the heads of weapons, for making, for making eating implements, and that sort of thing. And this area is called Obsidian Basin. I'm sorry, this area is called Black Sand Basin because the little granules that have got rub off, rubbed off by nature over the years look like black sand. I'm afraid that we've reached the end of another one of our virtual Yellowstone tours. If you enjoy our virtual Yellowstone tour series, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you in Yellowstone.